hi everyone of this uh, lecture series is devoted to theory of semi groups so our lectures are um, based on um, introduction to the theory of semi groups by uh, jm havi uh, pioneer in semi group theory and uh, uh, we will introduce this um, topics of semi group theory in order to develop research in semi groups uh, slowly we will uh, build up things and uh, we will discuss uh, more interesting and um, beautiful content about semi groups so we start with the basic uh, definitions So you might have heard of group theory. Group theory is um, one basic notion in algebra, actually a structure. We are giving um, a structure to a non-empty set. So we start from a basic structure, which is a groupoid groupoid so in order to define groupoid we need to start with a non-empty set s so let s be a non-empty set and uh, mu is a map from s cross s to s since it is from s cross s to s we call it is a binary operation so if you have an non-empty set with a binary operation and um, uh, so this is the basic condition what we need for groupoid then the tuple s mu uh, is called a group right. so in order to see some examples about uh, this we see examples for a basic example that we can give a finite uh, groupoid let us take s equal to 0 1 and uh, define mu uh, from s cross s which is uh, 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 so to define mu i'm just uh, defining mu 0 0 is 0 mu 0 1 is 1 mu 1 0 is 0 mu 0 0 uh, redefine that 1 1 is equal to 1 so you can actually uh, take any number right i mean uh, 0 1 um, uh, the range must be 0 1 okay and uh, you can miss one value also you don't you, you, you don't need to um, take all the values of 0 1 that's uh, not necessary okay so by writing this form this is um, Mm, will not be efficient when we work more in uh, this kind of rules so it is more efficient if you write like this as in group theory one and times zero is zero uh, is one so uh, this implies uh, it is uh, s with the mu it's a finite 
group void uh, for an infinite example for infinite groupoid you can um, uh, you can choose uh, you start using subtract subtraction because if you take two integers and you subtract it it will definitely will lie inside is it only so it's a groupoid and of course is that is infinite uh, then um, is this is an infinite groupoid likewise uh, you can do uh, construct other examples like this like uh, real numbers under multiplication there are a lot of examples of group word uh, you can encounter a lot of examples so <clears throat> our next uh, immediate uh, definition uh, would be semi group so we start our journey from here which is semi group a semi group basically a groupoid uh, with that multiplication rule or 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 the map mu is uh, uh, associative or simply let s is a non empty set and uh, mu from s cross is uh, associative so when you say associative um, i must uh, that is uh, you, you have to take any x y z from s this must satisfy a certain condition that means if you if you first calculate the value of mu y z then you calculate mu x of uh, and mu y z this must be equal to you first calculate mu x y then you with this of uh, this is a little bit uh, clumsy and um, not very nice form so you can use something like this x y z is no is must be equal to x y uh, not that uh, you cannot interchange uh, these two here because uh, that would be uh, in another property okay that is in fact what I am trying to tell you is um, uh, mu of x y is need not be equal to mu of y x feels like you are putting two numbers but it is not right like that because x y and y x are elements of s crosses so they, they the maps may be different uh, that means x y need not be equal to y x in general okay so you have to be very careful even when you define the associativity so here you can see uh, 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 in this special example 0 1 0 times 1 is 1 and 1 times 0 is 0 they're not uh, same right so that is a extra virtue that a semi group must possess if we really need it should if it should right <clears throat> so what are the examples of semi groups so there are a lot of examples we will we will interest we will encounter beautiful examples even very beautiful examples but we here we are just um, uh, normal examples okay, like uh, is said plus is uh, because plus is associative this is a semi group uh, like uh, then uh, what I can say are multiplication a lot of examples are coming you two is a uh, uh, into multiplication because when you when you multiply two elements two even numbers you will get even numbers when you add two even numbers you will again get an even number right when you add two even numbers you will get an even number so what are the non examples 
non examples are uh, the collection of odd numbers uh, odd numbers with uh, addition because if you add two odd numbers you will not get an odd number you will get an even number so it's not uh, not a semi group of course we have noted that z plus subtraction is uh, a groupoid but it is not a, a semi group okay so these are the um, uh, um, uh, immediate examples right so another thing is suppose uh, uh, an example of um, a finite groupoid which is not a semi group finite groupoid which is not a semi group um so in order to construct this first of all you have to uh, get one finite set and you have to assign some multiplication rule so mu is defined as i'm going to define mu zero times zero is one one times one is zero zero times one is zero one times zero, one so i'm defined like this and uh, in order to uh, disprove uh, something is uh, some uh, something is not a semi group you need to uh, um, choose at least three elements and show that uh, associativity is not working so for that i am just considering this ma this multiplication zero times zero times one i would uh, get zero times zero uh, defined as one one times one defined as zero but if you look at zero this way zero times zero times one is what zero zero times zero defined as one so they are not uh, equal right so this implies that 0 times 0 times 1 is not equal to 0 times 0 times 1 uh, so they're not not associative so mu is not associated suppose you have to prove uh, some multiplication uh, rule is uh, in fact um, induces a, a semi group and then there is uh, uh, how many how many way how many ways you need to check it suppose s is uh, some numbers like uh, x1 up to xn uh, then you have a multiplication rule right actually from s cross s to s and so in order to check in order to check as is a semi group you have to choose a, what is the problem x uh, you have to choose um, three elements right it, it, the, the three of them are same three of them are uh, different um, so whatever it is if you choose three of them are same definitely it is an associative property so you don't have to check that but um, what are the other cases what are the other cases so uh, you have to uh, you 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 have to check uh, n yeah n power 3 minus n checks are needed because what i'm trying to tell you is you have three positions right x y z right you have three positions you can have a, a any elements from here will come so n possibility here and possibility and n possible that's n cube but i am minusing n because if all are um, if all elements are 
uh, n then um, it is of course will satisfy so you don't have need to check it it, it will not give you a counter example so that's why i am avoiding that elements right uh, okay so i don't i don't i didn't check for if two of them are same what is the output i don't know but at least um, you can avoid an n elements from that maybe you can avoid more if i don't know so that's the idea okay so you have to check this much in order to check whether it is associative or not so all satisfies the associative uh, property then uh, you can say that this set with uh, multiplicative operation is associative mm, so maybe how many uh, semi groups uh, are possible over n n symbols n symbols that is um, that must be a question mm, we may we might investigate that later okay so uh, so that's the main idea of uh, semi groups and uh, groupoid and in the next lecture we will try to um, make more uh, interesting examples of semi group by adding properties okay so today we i wind up the lecture right okay the next class we will define commutativity of semi groups and uh, some important properties thank you